Introduction Look, Ruchika, there is a new plant arising in the soil. Yes, there are only two small leaves coming up in the soil. Uh, Ruchika, do all the plants grow up like this only? No, Rahul. There are many other methods by which plants give rise to new plants. Children, in this lesson, we will learn about how plants reproduce. Reproduction The process by which an organism produces new organisms of its own kind is known as reproduction. Reproduction in plants Plants reproduce in different ways. Most of the flowering plants produce seeds. Some plants do not produce seeds. They produce spores which can grow into a new plant. Some plants can reproduce from their body parts. Example, potato can be developed from underground stem having buds on it. Rose, money plant, sugarcane can be developed from stem cuttings. Bryophyllum can be developed from its leaves. Sweet potato grows from its roots. New plants from seeds. Flowering plants produce seeds. Each seed produced by a plant has a baby plant inside it. It is called embryo. The seed is surrounded by a tough covering called seed coat, which protects the baby plant and prevents the drying up of seed. Seed germination Seeds start germinating in favorable conditions. Water, air and warmth are required for a seed to germinate. When a seed absorbs water, it swells up and the seed coat becomes soft. The roots of the germinating plants appear first and grow towards the earth. After it, the shoot germinates upwards towards sunlight. And after that, leaves start growing up on the shoot. The young plant is called seedling, which grows into an adult plant. Dispersal of seeds What will be the condition of an area where all the seeds are grown near the parent plants? There will certainly be a shortage of space, water, minerals and sunlight. So all the plants will not grow properly. Most of them will naturally die. So it is necessary that the seeds of plants should be scattered over large distances. Nature has arranged some methods of seed dispersal in many ways, like by water, wind, animals and even man is useful in dispersing seeds. These are known as agents of dispersal. Wind Seeds which are light in weight and have wings or feathers, example, cotton, dandelion, maple. Explosion of fruits Some fruits, when ripe or dry, burst open and their seeds are thrown away. This process is known as explosion of fruits. Example, geranium, balsam, pea. Crops Several plants which are grown in fields by farmers and are useful in various ways are known as crops. Crops are mainly of three types. Food crops, example, wheat, rice and vegetables. Fiber crops, example, cotton and jute. Oil producing crops, example, mustard, sunflower and peanut. The crops which are grown in winter season are called rubby crops, example, wheat and gram. The crops which are grown in summer are called kharif crops, example, rice, jowar, maize, bajra. Different types of crops require different amounts of sunlight, water, air and type of soil. Getting good yield from crops To get a good yield from crops, following things should be kept in mind. 
healthy seeds of best variety should be used. Before sowing the seeds, soil should be prepared by ploughing and adding manure or fertilizers to it. Soil should be watered at right time and with right amount of water. Crops should be protected from diseases and harmful insects and animals. Insecticides and pesticides should be sprayed in correct quantities. Crops should be protected from grazing animals. Harvested crops should be stored properly to protect it from moisture. Moisture causes growth of fungi and bacteria. Crops should also be protected from rats, insects and other animals. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. There are various methods of reproduction in plants. Flowering plants reproduce by seeds. Seed germination takes place in favorable conditions. Seeds of plants are dispersed to large distances by wind, water, animals and man. Different types of crops require different climatic conditions to grow properly. We can get good yield of crops by providing proper conditions to it. Crops should be well protected and looked well after.